Hi guys, I'm Vicky and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about one of my fave cleaning products which is the Delure Soda Crystals. Um, I have discovered the miracle of soda crystals thanks to the lovely Mrs Hinch. She's also introduced me to Zeflora and all kinds of other cleaning products and uh, cloths. I just love her. If you haven't checked her out her channel, I'm sure you have because she's got over a million followers um, but if you haven't please do she's great so I thought what I would do today is share five ways that you can use soda crystals to clean your home this stuff is uh, particularly good in washing machines and laundry but it can be also used for stain removal getting off um, greasy stains on pots and pans and on your hob and in your oven it's a really strong cleaning product but it is nowhere near as like toxic as some cleaning products can be obviously you wouldn't eat it don't eat it <laughs> but what I'm saying is that it's a much more environmentally friendly way to clean your home much more natural way to clean your home so I'm gonna start off with the sink this is like the easiest way in my opinion to use um, soda crystals to clean your home it's literally bung soda crystals down plug hole and put some boiling water um, after it just to rinse it through now this is a really good idea to do once a week I don't know about you but even though I have a like catcher um, in our sink plug hole little bits of food still get down there grease certainly goes down there quite a bit and um, bad smells can build up the water can start um, running a bit slower and that, that's just kind of annoying so it's a good idea to do this once a week put some soda crystals down there followed by some boiling water I'm just gonna show you how okay guys so we have our sink take the plug out and I'm just going to pour a nice generous amount down here okay and what you need to do is chase it with some boiling water from your kettle boiling water is literally just boiled rinse that down there and that is going to get rid of nasty build up of smells nasty build up of smells it helps to keep lime scale at bay just really really good for your plug hole freshening that up so the next area where soda crystals can really really help you is the laundry and your washing machine so for a start you can use soda crystals to wash your washing machine about once a month so we're in a really hard water area so the soda crystals are just really really useful for getting rid of gunk and also keeping that lime scale at bay helps to prevent rust as well so general all-round goodness there you need to put about 300 grams into your washing machine which is roughly what I've got left in this bag I'm gonna put it directly in the drum no messing about directly in the drum and then I'm just gonna put it on a super duper hot wash so 60 degrees there we go and as I said do that once a month and you'll get rid of nasty smells in the drain all round goodness you can also add soda crystals to your everyday laundry to just like a get rid of stains it's really good at stain removal and b just to keep up that maintenance of your washing machine it's really really good for your washing machine to keep the lime scale at bay so all you need to use is about 50 grams put it in the main drum and that's it just forget about it really easy um i've just put my washing machine on otherwise i would show you but i'm now washing my washing machine so it's not available um can't use it in dishwashers so that's not what it's good for but you can use it on things like burnt stains on your oven and on pots and pans so I'm just gonna show you how you do that basically you just create a bit of a strong paste with the crystals using some hot water and then put that on the greasy stains or the burnt on marks that you want to get rid of leave it for a bit you can leave it overnight if it's particularly tough and then you just wipe it off let me show you okay guys so what we have here is what I would call a very 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 unhappy pan <laughs> um, bit of a mess I can't remember what we've cooked on here I think it's something to do with cheese something to do with mini pizzas and there may have been some bacon cooked in here too but basically it needs to be sorted so let me show you what I'm gonna do so soda crystals when it comes to soda crystals there's all sorts of different brands that do actually make them uh, Tesco does their own. This pack, which is a kilogram, was a pound 
from Tesco. So they're not even very expensive. Here we go. I'm going to be quite generous because this is quite bad. Go, and then I'm just going to pop some boiling water on there. There we go. You can see it's loosening it already. But I am just going to leave it for a little bit. Give that a bit of a rub. It's coming off already, you know. Give that a bit of a rub. I'm going to leave it for about 15 minutes and see how we get on. This is exactly what you would do if you were doing inside the oven or on the hob. So we've given that a few minutes and as you can see, it's all just wiping clear. We move over to my friend, Mr. Sink. Gosh, what do you want about Vicky? Just ignore me, guys. Just ignore me. My friend, Mr. Sink. Right, there you go. Look at the gunk. Ugh, gross. I'm going to have to wash this cloth. I just, this is a um, Spontex cloth. And what's great about these is you just bung them in the washing machine. When they get dirty, you don't throw them away give them a new lease of life which I much prefer to buying bags and bags of washcloths there we go didn't take much there we go he looks a bit happier doesn't he much happier so the next place we're going to be using the soda crystals is in the toilet now i had been using bleach down here um and things like this gel um toilet duck cleaner which is meant to sort of freshen up the bowl with every flush but if you read the back of those packets it says harmful to aquatic life so i'm looking to stop using those and i found actually this is really good pour some in the toilet bowl and sprinkle it around and then I just get my toilet brush and get everything a good old scrub. And then if you've got a real problem with lime scale, you can use citric acid, which is also really, really easy to buy. And it just means that when you're cleaning your loo, you're not flushing away loads of nasty chemicals into the system. You can also use um, white vinegar down your toilet. Go, shiny. And back to the laundry front, stain removal. So this is muslin that I use as a changing mat to cover for my little one, as you can see. It's got a little bit stained, so I'm just gonna do a pre-wash soak to try and get rid of those marks on there, because this is a lovely, muslin that I've used a lot over the years and I know that it washes well given half a chance so I'm going to get some warm water and some soda crystals and just give it a soak easy so try and use about 50 grams you don't have to be precise. And I'm going to leave that for about 30 minutes and then just wash it as normal. Okay guys, so those are my five ways with soda crystals. I really hope you got some good ideas from that. And if you haven't already used soda crystals around your home, then maybe you'll go out and buy a pack. It's so cheap, such a cheap, cheap way of cleaning your house, but really, really effective. And as I said, it's great to know that it is nowhere near as damaging to the environment as some of the really toxic hardcore cleaners can be. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit like and support my channel by subscribing for future videos. Thank you for watching, bye.